Another proposal I made is to put on the table as well the problem of the settlers. Unfortunately, Turkey, since 74, brought in Cyprus to Cyprus waves of settlers, tens of thousands. Maybe they are doubling the numbers now of the Turkish Cypriots, the original Cypriots. And they are not the same, as we are not the same with the Greeks from Greece. I mean, the Greek Cypriots. <clears throat> we have much common, of course, the origin, the, uh, the religious, the language, cultural traditions, but at the same time, with, we have our peculiarities as Cypriots. Greek Cypriots and Turkish Cypriots. We have much common with the Turkish Cypriots, customs, psychology. And if you want the Nostos to come together as Cypriots and to lead our common homeland, this is my proposal. Unfortunately, when I put it on the table, been rejected by the Turkish leadership and by Mr. Eroglu. I insist. I made this proposal in front of the international community as well. Secondly, I made a proposal of goodwill and of confidence building measure. As you know, the city of Varosha is empty. It's a ghost city since 74. The people left. It is under the control of the Turkish army. But the Turkish army, because of the reaction of the United Nations uh, peacekeeping force at that time, they didn't enter the, the city. And it is empty. It's a pity. Re thousands of refugees and an empty city there. So I suggested the implementation of the 550 resolution of the United Nations Security Council, according to which Turkey must give the city under the, <coughs> uh, the guidance, the administration of the United Nations to prepare the city for the inhabitants to return back to their homes. I didn't stop to this. I wanted a win-win situation. This is why I suggested to the Turkish Cypriots the restoration of the wall city of Famacusta. It's uh, the Othello's city of Famacusta, in which the Turkish Cypriots continue to live, to restore the city, to repair the city, because it is our common heritage. And the opening of the port of Famagusta for the Turkish Cypriots to make trade under the auspices of the United Europe. Because I will never accept to make trade with the sin of second state, the so-called Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus. It's a matter of principle, as you understand. So they reject. This is a win-win situation.